cairns are called pinnacles by the locals and always have been. They're associated with portals, with magic, the other world. I would I were on yonder hill. Tis there Roughly 5,000 years old. These are the original churches. Like. Loads and loads of mythology around here. Carrow Keel, the Brickleave Mountains. Knocknaray and Carrow Moor are connected to here by the River Unshin and the lake. There's 1,600 megalithic monuments in Ireland. The very first type of these monuments are very, very small. These are the phase two monuments. They all had doors. They're definitely designed for people to move through. Phase three of these monuments are, are the new granges in the Queen Maeve's Cairn, the mega monuments. It's all about death when you read archaeology. And as far as we can tell, us fringe archaeologists, these monuments are to do with fertility. There's temples to life. It's a, a quite an injustice that these are all considered tombs. But now my love has gone to France to try his fortune to advance if he ever returned his but a chance. The Christian scribes, they wrote down all the mythology but they put a spin on it. It's our basic ancient religion in an artificial cave. It's just the most inspiring thing. It's the last monument that's not blocked. Shul, shul, shul arun Shul ga sakurag shul ga kyuin Shul in old Irish, the word for a cave and the word for a womb is the same word. The soul passed from the old body across the chamber and into the new body. Instant reincarnation.